It's Warcraft Day. Greetings everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay request. This is going to be a game on Last Refuge and this is a replay request by none other than Armin VB. And yes, I was uh, wrong early on when I said he's from UK. He's not from the UK. This is the French flag. He's probably from France here. Uh, by the way, Jockey, this is the French flag, right? I mean, I don't want to be... <laughs> I don't want to be wrong on this team. <laughs> you probably know better. So we got uh, Armin V spawning as the yellow orc at the bottom uh, left side of this map. He will be facing off against Dodo1988 spawning as the purple night elf on the top right. So I covered an amazing best out of three series between Armin and W3P Hurricane yesterday from the International Battle League by SAS. Uh, it was the quarterfinals and it was an amazing best out of three league. For the guys that didn't watch it, head on over to my channel. Uh, you should find it somewhere and uh, what, maybe I can just link it in this video itself so that the guys that do want to watch it get it. So we're going to have Farsi on the side of Armin uh, opening up with one of the newer metas. As opposed to what he did in the last games there. Uh, facing up against Dodo. Dodo gonna open up with Demon Hunter. Classical Knight of Choice. Very classic Knight of Choice. That's team definitely going. The jockey hasn't reverted since a while now. And I'm, I'm pretty sure my stream isn't delayed. I've already uh, changed that. And uh, got it back to like 0 second delay. By the way, uh, I kind of figured why a lot of MoFad's replays don't appear to me. Uh, the bug has a lot to do with the maps and the map folder. And I'm gonna explain that in a bit as we have the heroes coming up. Uh, oh, tier 2 already put down. Worm is gonna be put down. Barracks coming in most likely. We're gonna have a lot of headhunters in some time, by my understanding. Dodo gonna start creeping over here, getting the creeps down a bit weak before he gets his hero. This is of course so necessary for idle players and uh, kind of funny that no players have done any kind of creeping, uh, no, no players have done any kind of scouting yet. Probably having sort of a casual approach to this game right now. As Armin heads in towards his opponent's base with his uh, Farseer, he's gonna go in from the other side and gonna send his spirit wolves from this side. Uh, so he's gonna know exactly which creep camp his opponent is doing and that's also gonna cause some sort of a distraction there. Wolves can go in from that side, uh, perhaps try to get hold of the Wisps. Even if he manages to force detonation over the Wisps, it's gonna be all worth it. And that's exactly what his plan is. Here comes the Fars here, dealing some range damage. And the uh, Spirit Wolves being scattered away. Lovely play there by Armin. Dodo 1988 is in a pickle. He comes in first, mana burn down. Only just. Fars here has been there since a while now. Demon are gonna whack that Fars here. Uh, backwards now and oh Farsi are also gonna face the wrath of the ancient war for a bit work complete a lot of burrows down and grunts coming in okay this is seem to be the headhunter play or is it I'm not sure about this e either now we got grunts coming in by our men looking at the build it almost seemed like this is definitely gonna be like a uh, headhunter build but that doesn't seem to be the case so far, Dodo managing to push away Armin without suffering too much casualty. And I have to check how many wisps he lost. I don't think he lost any wisps. He already like migrated f or rather reshuffled about 5 wisps from the gold mine. So that's a huge amount. And I don't think Armin would have been able to stick there for m uh, being able to bruise more than 5 wisps there. He's gonna back out to the base and gonna be facing the demon hunter while he tries to do so. Demon Hunter ready with that circle of nobility. Mana burns, there was a lot of mana burns to the left. He's actually waiting for the parts here to regenerate mana before he can mana burn because otherwise you're not gonna burn anything. Uh, archers being stayed uh, or rather being put back at the base. Uh, so they're gonna be able to deal with these wolves over here. Nerf feral spirits. A wise man did say nerf feral spirits at one point. And lovely play. Oh, he did end up losing one wisp at least. Lovely, lovely play by both players so far. De doing it all. Uh, a couple of runs coming in. Beastery being dropped. And uh, I'm still a bit puzzled about this build. Still a bit puzzled. Get like super, super quick tier 2. But you're going in for runs. I guess that was a transitional build. 
even though it's still on the back and oh he just burned down the clarity potion so no extra region for you farseer and uh, it seems like he tried to disengage for a bit he's gonna come back armin getting his foot uh grunts back to the base i'm gonna say take some damage uh, oh oh no armin getting us almost getting a lovely surround there Armin almost getting a lo lovely surround there on the Demon Hunter, but uh, sadly Demon Hunter manages to escape, and uh, we'll have to be we'll have to run be run back to the base now because he is kind of weak, not going to be able to face against three uh, runs altogether. Grunts are of course the strongest gear one melee. Gonna pick up a second hero in the form of a Naga Seawitch. Uh, Jockey says how to play Demon Hunter. Press E. Like enemy hero congratulations you are now an idol player <laughs> okay <laughs> easier said than done though and uh, that's something that we should definitely try out sometime here comes the demon hunter once again well each time i play nidal i don't think i've like ever used the demon hunter he's for keeper m m is for manaman well most probably people would just change it to q actually because that's just easier i recently did that to my hotkeys as well and that does make things a lot easier all my spells and abilities are QWE now. I just changed everything to that with the uh, Warcraft the Champions, of course, and uh, it's kind of stuck with the main game as well. So that's kind of cool. Armin gonna pull these creeps in uh, during when the Demon Hunter. Oh, Demon Hunter! Did he get the kill? No, no. Armin got the kill. Armin got the gold there, and I'm on Armin's uh, view. You are trying to get the kill and trying to get another one. Uh, kill would definitely secure him level two, and evasion will be lovely. Oh! Surround, surround, big surround by Armin. Gonna force a TP on this demon hunter and uh, using the TP. Yep, gonna have to use the TP, I guess. Don't really want to lose the demon hunter at this point of the game. Would have been better if he just picked up a nice little, uh, nice little staff of teleportation. But yeah, you all, you also have a situation where you can be ensnared while you try to do so. Ensnare OP. Orcs just have OP stuff there. Uh, Jackie says I have spell hotkeys memorized, so would be same if I would uh, on QWE. Actually, I kind of had it memorized. I used it for over ten years. Like uh, T for uh, Storm Ball, W for Elemental. Like I had all those memorized. But uh, and I also kind of know how Warcraft uh, hotkeys work. Uh, suppose you have a spell that starts with S, such as Stomp, but you also have Stop. Uh, which the hotkey for stop is S. So in this case, the, you have to move to the next letter. In in the case of stomp, it is T. So that's how Warcraft the hotkeys work. <laughs> yeah, that's like uh, that's usually how Warcraft the hotkeys work. If you have a and if you have a second uh, one there, then uh, example E was for Stormbolt, C was for Thunderclap or the Mountain King, and uh, since A is for attack, V is for avatar. That's how Warcraft 3 hotkeys were designed back in the days when Warcraft 3 was originally made in 2001 and two, or 2002. So yeah, I mean, it is still a bit inefficient. When you're in a game, you really just want everything everything in your fingers there. So having everything at QWE and uh, memorizing the location of, you know, you know, this is the first spell, this is the spell, second, this is the third. And I'm not just talking about uh, heroes, I'm also talking about units. Uh, Raiders ensnare with Q, then you have Kodo Beast consume with Q, then you have Shamans purge with Q, then you have uh, the Linkers, the, uh, the Spirit Walkers, Spirit Link with Q, and that's how it works. Uh, yes, Jockeys just said that uh, 2002 ROC and 2003 TFT, yes, that is technically the year that it launched, but. Uh, uh, I'm more talk talk referring to the year of development. It was already like kind of, uh, already kind of a, a playable phase in 2000, and uh, there was a uh, there was a like alpha and beta for Warcraft 3 as well. Alpha or beta? I'm not really sure. Uh, alpha or beta? But yeah, there was a functional one out there which uh, is kind of drastically different to the one that we we play, and uh, we have a huge battle going on right now. Both of the players almost getting a 50 foot army. Actually, Armin has 50 foot. Uh, Dodo only has 40. Dodo is right now on the back foot, although he will manage to take out a couple of grunts, um, trying to 
uh, that would kind of get uh, his army uh, equalized with the army of Armin. And he's also producing an... Oh, got a beast! Got a beast gonna eat up a bear! That, uh, that doesn't even look... That doesn't even make a lot of sense. Bear is definitely bigger than the Kodo if you look at it. But the Kodo will eat the bear. And uh, one unit loss for Armin. I mean to say, uh, one unit loss for Dodo. Although Dodo has the vision of this right now. The Kodo is super weak though. Like this is a like amazing ability if you think about it. You can you have the ability to take one unit completely out of commission. All you have to do is then keep the beefy Kodo alive. Once you keep the Kodo alive, like uh, you can digest that thing and then voila. Ah, uh, the poor peons, the Steves being murdered there, being followed away by the Nidal army of Dodo. Maybe after the peon take it out, we have a demolisher as well in the fight. It was there in the last fight as well. Not really sure if he's gonna get, go for the burning oil upgrade or not though. Uh, would be useful. Oh my goodness. Three Kodos. Like he wants to. Uh, these Kodos are gonna have bear meal. Like they're gonna have bears for breakfast. And uh, archers for supper probably. In case uh, the bears get digested in time. And uh, right now Dodo. Uh, Dodo needs to rethink his strategy. Chain lightning going across. The archers getting murdered. And the bears. Uh, I mean to say the Kodos. The Kodos are heading in. We're gonna eat some bears. Eat some bears. Eat some bears! Eat them bears! And now Dodo, just with uh, two bears left, he actually managed to get one more and oh no 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 no! Armin gonna eat up another bear! This looks really bad for Dodo. He still have uh, had a couple of units there, a lot of grunts did die there but it's kind of all worth it as long as he can keep the uh, bears inside the belly of these Kodos and digest them. That's gonna give him a lot of experience, and uh, the heroes are still alive. Uh... Oh no 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 no! The creeps, the creeps are agitated, and they don't want the bear to die. It appears. Oh wow! The demolisher get ensnared. Now this Kodo is being attacked. Is it gonna get? Is it gonna get rock hurled though? Gonna get rock hurled. There's no staff of preservation type technique here. We get ensnared by the creeps, and it appears to me that this bear will survive. And if this bear survives, he's gonna help out get the other bear out, but perhaps not. Uh, okay, big fight, and we're gonna have to use the TP to run back. I think he should have used the TP earlier. He could have done it much, much earlier, and that would have been beneficial. Perhaps uh, the Kodo would have survived, and uh, the bear would not have been out. But now, Dodo seems to be coming back. He's got a level 5 uh, Demon Hunter now, and this looks really bad for Armin. Dodo coming in with a level 5. Beefy, beefy demon hunter there. Uh, I call it beefy. It's only like 850 HP though. Oh my goodness. That uh, Naga Siege getting murdered does have a potion of greater healing. So it should be fine for the most part. Uh, one more Kodo Beast over there being attacked. I believe... Uh, I, I really I heard a Kodo Beast die. Okay, Demolisher getting taken out of there. One more. And Armin calls for the GG. Sorry there. I didn't uh, kind of read the chat because there has a big... Uh, there was a big... Fight going on, Jockey. Lovely game, though. Jockey says I'm R for. I wouldn't uh, kept click that uh, instead of Q. Actually, yeah, it took me a small amount of time, not really a lot, that uh, to get used to QWE for my, you know, MK and everything. Because there were some clutch moments where I was like T T T T, and then I'm like, oh yeah, it, it's Q. <laughs> There were some of them, but for the most part I got used to it and this is just a better way of doing things in my opinion as well. But of course everybody has their and doubt. Uh Jackie also says that Stormy so hyped for seeing bears getting eaten. Yes. Stormy Stormy enjoys bear meat, I guess. <laughs> I never really thought about it. Even even bear meat? I don't think so. Not sure. Is it edible or I don't know. I don't know. We shall have that discussion some other time. Hope you guys enjoyed the game though. Thanks for watching and listening. If you have enjoyed what you have seen, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more, and follow me on my Twitch account. Catch the games live. I don't really have sadly I don't really like have a proper stream schedule set up just yet, but Slowly surely we'll, we'll have something down and uh, once we have that down then you guys will be able to you'll be knowing when I will streaming and stuff. Apart from that lovely game there by Armin I'd love to cast more of your games sadly there were a couple of more uh, games by you Armin 
Um, and I'm just gonna show you those here. So, like, uh, by the way, all these skins I move at are now appearing. Okay, uh, here they are. So, yeah, they're not from this patch by my understanding, otherwise, this icon would appear. But yeah, thanks for the game and I'd love to cast more of yours and oh my goodness. Yeah, this is a bug that I have. <laughs> if I click once, my mouse just clicks it twice and that's kind of a bug that I'm dealing with right now. Although, apart from that lovely game, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and listening. And uh, yeah, and uh, if you want to know how you could send me replays for the replay request series, you could join my Discord server. Link to that is in the description below. Alright, that's going to be all for this video. I will see you in the next one. Next episode of Warcraft. Yay.